parachute style flies such as the clink hammer are extremely effective. However, tying in the wing isn't always as easy as it looks. Here I'm going to show you a technique that Ronnie Glass from Kelso uses to tie an absolutely fail-safe parachute wing. The first step is to run the tying thread on just behind the eye, locking that loose end in place, and then trimming it off. And then carry on down the shank a little bit, and then bring it back up to provide a nice solid base for the wing. For the wing we're going to use Aero Dry Wing which is a great material for winging all sorts of parachute patterns including the clink hammer. The first step is to take a strand of the Aero Wing and split it in half. Because the wing is actually folded you only need a strand that's half the width of the finished wing. So having prepared the wing we offer it up to the hook and then catch it in under the shank with a turn or two of thread. Bring one end back under the shank and then add a couple of turns to lock it in place. With the aero wing positioned under the shank we then have to fix it in place with turns of thread. Make a couple behind the wing itself then pull it up really hard and apply further turns around the base. With the two strands now in an upright position we just run a few turns of thread around their base just to provide a little point of rigidity on which to apply the hackle and then we carry the thread on down the shank to the bend. Okay now with the body in place and the hackle attached to the base of the wing post we dub on a small pinch of fur and use it to uh, form the thorax, wind it from, from the eye back to the base of the wing, take a single turn behind the actual wing and then park the thread just behind the wing post. That done, we take our hackle pliers, grasp the hackle and wind on four or five turns around the base of the wing post, working our way down towards the thorax. So now we take our tying thread and we wind it underneath the hackle to lock the tip in place. A couple of turns should be enough. And we carefully get our scissors and just trim off the hackle tip. And then finally we uh, secure everything with a whip finish, just round the base of the hackle, round. Pull it nice and tight and then just trim that loose end off. And then the final step is to take hold of the wing, draw it up straight, hold it tight and then with one single cut trim the wing to length. And there we have it, Ronnie Glass's method for tying a parachute wing.